in this quick tip I'll be talking about simple text-based mission briefings. Um, mission briefings works best also if you use map markers in the, at the same time. As you can see here now, I have a map with some markers on it. And if you look up in the left-hand menu here, I have a tab called briefing. Uh, here I have four different categories of information or tabs of briefing. These are the four preset titles uh, in the Army Editor. You can add your own custom ones. Uh, these are the four uh, levels of information that, if you will, that uh, you can use. Um, there are situation, mission, execution, and signal. And if you follow that uh, logic, you don't have to use all of these, but if you follow that logic, I find that it's uh, easy to give a, a full and rich uh, mission briefing to your players. Let's just jump back to situation first. As you can see here, I've put in a, a paragraph break or line break. Um, whoop to do it's not a big deal, but you actually need to put in a bit of code to make that happen in the editor, and I'll show you how to do that. Uh, second one, under the mission tab, uh, I've put down links, hyperlinks to these two markers, so that the map will actually uh, jump to and mark with this crosshair the uh, the the marker you're clicking on here. Uh, we don't have anything in particular going on in the under execution, but under signal, you can see that I have formatted uh, the text as well. So we'll talk a little bit about how to how to do that. Let's pop back into the editor and see how to get started with this. Now, <clears throat> quite simply, uh, the mission briefings are created using create diary record module. Uh, which you can find under Systems, Modules, Intel, just alongside the Create Task. Uh, you click and drag the number you want out. Um, you can have all four of the preset titles. You can only use two of them. You can have 10 or 20 if you want to make your own custom tabs. Um, sky, your imagination is the limit there, really. Uh, the diary record module itself is quite simple. Uh, I usually al also um, put in a variable name so it's easier to identify the different uh, diary records over here in the entities uh, browser. Um, ownership is important as with tasks. If the, it defaults to groups of synchronized objects, so if you don't sync anything to the module, it won't show up to anyone. Uh, if you only have one side of playable units and they're all supposed to have the same briefing, just put it on all playable units and everybody's going to see it and you're fine. Then we have the preset titles, as I was talking about. Uh, you can choose between the four, um, situation, mission, execution, and signal. And uh, if you want to make a custom title, you just write in the name here. That will overwrite the preset title. In the description, uh, as you can see here, the paragraph I made, I've made using a simple tag. Uh, which resembles uh, bulletin board code or wiki code or um, uh, hypertext mark language, if you like. Uh, the code to make a single line break is um, tag bracket br forward slash and tag bracket. Uh, if I put two of them in a row, I'll get a double line change or a paragraph change, if you like. Quite simple. Uh, jumping into the uh, mission briefing here. As you remember, this is where I had the hyperlinks. So hyperlink, just a piece of text that you can click on and that will do something for you. Um, and the way to put in uh, the hyperlink is this piece of code. Well, let me just highlight this, which is on the same line. So it's a tag called marker. And the variable we need to put in there is the reference to the name of the marker we want this piece of text to interact with. So marker space name equals uh, quotation marks and the name of the marker. Then the text that we want highlighted yellow to act as the hyperlink and then a tag to end that marker or that hyperlink, if you will. And the tag is forward slash marker, forward slash in this kind of language is end, end marker. So that's it, marker, name, name to the marker, uh, the text that's supposed to be highlighted, and then end marker. That'll work fine for you. 
Uh, and the last thing I was showing was uh, formatting fonts. So then we use a font tag. And the font tag can also contain different parameters. Uh, I know of uh, at least three that works in uh, Arma. Um, so I have the font tag, space, then the color parameter using this formatting, color equals uh, this strange boy, um, hashtag, and then the color in hexadecimal code. And if you're unfamiliar with hexadecimal code, but you really want to use color texts, uh, just Google um, hexadecimal colors, hexadecimal colors. Uh, you'll find color pickers online that you can just click on whatever color you want and you'll get this uh, alphanumerical code uh, out of it and you can just copy paste it into here and you can get whatever color you want. Um, in addition, there is a parameter called size. So I can just uh, do another space, size equals, and then write the size I want. Just if you remember, the green was a really large font. So you can make like headlines in different colors or you can drop at, at, uh, changing the color and just change the size of the font as well. And there are uh, also about eight to 10 different font types that work within the editor. So uh, you can do, I think the, the code is type equals, and then you need to look up the, um, the relevant font types and the names that they're uh, used, uh, they use in the editor for them. And you can find that on the Bohemian Interactive Forums. So the last thing I'm going to mention uh, regarding this is that one thing that is going to frustrate you is the order in which things uh, pop up under the briefing tab. Um, so I'm just going to jump back in here. So right now we got mission, situation, execution and signal. And if you have your own uh, custom tabs, uh, you may have uh, different texts here. But the correct order, uh, if you kind of look at it from a, the large information and then you go into the more specific information as you go down in the list, it should be situation, mission, execution and then signal. And you might, uh, with your custom titles, uh, you might want to have them in, a, in, a, in an, a given order. And it is frustrating because um, uh, most of the time you'll write your situation first. And the way this list populates is that if you write your situation first, you drag in your create uh, diary record module and you start writing and you press OK, it will pop up in the top of the list situation. And then maybe you write mission and you press OK, and that will stack on top of situation and push situation down. So if you want them to be in the correct order from situation to signal, you'll have to write signals first, so signals pops up on top, then execution, so execution pops up on top of that, then mission, so mission pops up on top of execution, and then situation, so it pops up on top again. But even opening it and editing it and pressing OK again, I've experienced will update the information of the order so you'll get them all in the wrong order again. So you have to go through them and open them, uh, do a little editing and press OK to get them in the right order again. It can be really annoying. But that is, as far as I know, uh, how this uh, list populates and it seems to, to work like that. Um, I hope that was useful information for you. Um, if you like the video, please press the like button. And if you have some comments or questions, just uh, post them below.